Welcome, summoners, to the Tribunal. The Tribunal allows you to shape player behavior for the better, acting directly on reports from fellow players in League of Legends. Level 30 summoners may vote on cases in the Tribunal, with the options to punish players for poor behavior, pardon them from wrongdoing, or pass on the case if they're not sure. Each case requires a significant majority of votes in order to punish the player for wrongdoing. For every case where you correctly predict the outcome of the case, you'll be given influence points. You're allowed to vote on a certain number of cases per day. Players who vote well are rewarded with increased votes per day, while those who fail to make correct judgments will find their voting allotments diminish. As you navigate to the Tribunal, you'll be informed of guidelines and the behaviors we're looking for, as well as receive warnings about the potential for offensive language, both in the Tribunal itself and in this video. Let's look at our first case, starring a user named Verbal Harassment. He's been reported by most of his teammates and opponents in this game for verbal harassment. We can see he's a competent player, but let's look at his chat log. As with in-game chat, teammates have green names and opponents have red names. However, the user in question will have his name show up as purple. In this game, we see him constantly whining and swearing at his team. So far, I'm not a fan. Let's see if he keeps this up. I can navigate to other games he's been reported for. These games are automatically sorted so that the most reported game is game 1. The second most reported is game 2, and so on. As we read the chat log, let's talk about what happens when you punish a player. When a user gets punished by the tribunal, he may receive a warning, temporary suspension, or even a permanent ban. These punishments are sequential, meaning that everyone first receives a warning and must be punished by a new set of cases in the tribunal before facing suspension. Also, our customer support staff reviews the harsher punishments, such as permanent bans, on an individual basis before accepting the verdict. We will constantly tweak the system to ensure the Tribunal has the most positive effect it can. Finally, we regularly audit the entire system to make sure that everything is working as we intend. After reviewing the chat log, I decide I want to punish him. Now let's look at a new case. Intentional Feed has been reported mostly for feeding. He's got a somewhat poor score as Tarek, but seems to be trying. We look at the chat log, and he's not complaining about his teammates or anything, just trying his hardest to help. As we look at a second game, let's talk about pardoning a player. If enough people vote to pardon, he is cleansed of all outstanding reports. Like with punishing, he has to accrue an entirely new set of reports before being placed in the tribunal again. With this player's most reported games being empty of feeding, I'm going to pardon him. I get a new case, but the subject is actually my friend. While it is okay to judge your friends as long as you do so impartially, I don't feel comfortable with this, so I'm going to pass. Normally, you must wait 60 seconds to pardon or punish a case, but you can pass on one immediately. You should pass on cases where you aren't sure if the player is guilty or not, don't understand the language spoken in the chat log for verbal harassment cases, or otherwise don't feel comfortable judging the case for any reason. Finally, you can exit the tribunal at any time by clicking the link directly beneath the Punish, Pardon, and Pass buttons. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We hope you'll help us promote a friendly community by voting in the tribunal.